You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that right? If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You would have let me on my room, you would have saw close to a quarter billion dollars cash legally or hard earned money. Allegation is an allegation. Until what? Until proven. Thank you. So why am I in handcuffs? Three years in college. I'm on the fucking Forbes list, my nigga. The Forbes list. Whatever time the camera show me not robbing no damn body. You know who this baby is, man? Yeah, yeah. Supposed to be easy offending this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know who he is, man. You know, I don't know if you know rappers, but his name is uh, the baby. Apparently, he beat up one of the guys here outside of the of the hotel. I got flagged down. Right now, we're trying to get the video footage. That you can see something on the video footage, according to my partner, but it's it's there. It's like there's a tree block in the view, so you really can't see much. It's uh, his name is the baby. I don't know if you've never heard about him or not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. And then when he hit me, everyone, all 10 of the guys that was in the truck jumped out. Start telling me, shooting me across the street. Beanie poor apple juice all over me, away in my pockets, took my phone. I was on the ground, trying to get up. He just poured apple juice all over That's not professional business. This is what apparently, now I got the full story. The whole thing about the money thing is correct. They're, they're basically, what happened was the baby met up with these guys but he wanted his 20,000 up front he was supposed to perform tonight these guys said well we don't have it right now I'll give it to you later the baby didn't like that answer beat him up then uh, allegedly during the fight uh, the baby took his iPhone 7 and a credit card so I got a victim here um, he works with rappers and tonight he had a show for the baby you know who the baby is right uh, the baby, he's, he's a he's a big time rapper. Um, he's out over here at Southwest One in Broadway in front of the Nova Hotel. Allegedly, the baby, the rapper, wanted his twenty thousand dollars up front for tonight's show at G Five. The two victims told him, like, we don't have the twenty thousand dollars right now, but we will give it to you. The baby did not take kind of that answer and hit him and his and his friend. And then allegedly the victim saying that what he was on the ground, the baby stole his iPhone and a credit card and poured apple juice on. There is video surveillance, but it's very hard. It's not it's not good footage because um, a tree's blocked the, the angle. Were you able in the video? Are you able to see them like beating them up right there? Let's see a scuffle happen. Let me show you. Let's see if something happen. Direction. You to go to my John and Kirk. Let's get those. Let's get a the 20th. Look at 1500. Top point first half. 1500. Top point first half. Pull up for a black male. Go by the name of Jonathan. 5'8, 165 pounds. Fled in a black Chevy Suburban or top. Unknown direction to travel at 1422. I'm going to take you upstairs to the rock. Get out. Yeah, yeah, so we can go upstairs. I'm just waiting on clear cut instructions, bro. I ain't got time for you to be snatching me around. No, no, I ain't gonna snatch you. Trying to get you to about some shit I ain't done in the first place. I got you. No, no, this way, this way, this way. See, we just gotta do our investigation and that's it. Y'all investigation is looking at the camera seeing I ain't do a damn thing. Then it ain't nothing more to talk to me about once y'all see that. Look, if you can ever see this man lying, then it's supposed to be over. You take one look at me, tell me if I'm robbing anything. An allegation is an allegation. Until what? Until proven. Thank you. So why am I in handcuffs? That's the part, that's the part I'm talking about, bro. I should be in handcuffs shit. Make the nigga prove it and then do whatever you wanna do to me. I don't got damn put me on the time to rob. Gotcha. Yeah. It's like lazy too, they even take their damn Christmas tree down. 
I ain't supposed to go on no video with no Christmas tree. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, can I piss, bro? Yeah, we got this. I got you. Not way in here. Can you take these off me and put them in front? I got you. I got you. I got the pit. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on over here. Yeah, just take your handcuffs off. Can I piss real quick? Yeah. Can I take these off before I pee these? Yeah, he's going to take them off for you. Take it over there. Switch them to the front. Yeah. 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 When you go in the room, yeah, I'm going to hook you on to one chair. You're going to stand up in the rock pit. Dog procedure. I ain't here on the drugs, bro. I shouldn't be here for the reason why I'm here. What the fuck? <laughs> procedure should be y'all making sure a nigga telling the truth before y'all come lock a nigga up. Talk about robbery, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that shit is silly as hell. That shit is silly. Why don't you take the handcuffs off? Okay, all right. Yeah, special My name is Detective Ledlow. Sitting behind me, Robert Detective is Sergeant Murray of the Robert Unit. I just want to give some basic formalities. I'd like to get some uh, regular information from you and then we're going to already. What's your full name? Come on. Come on. 
Would you want? Would you want to get it from me? This, this is just a formality. Just tell us, you know, name, your date of birth, no, and all that I stuff. Do I've got to have that information. Where the twenty thousand dollars of the I just told you I had attempted to pay me twenty thousand dollars of somebody else's money. 
which I could have took. They tried to give it to me. I, well, once I saw that it wasn't good business being done, I said, nah, uh -uh, what's going on? Y'all clear up what y'all got going on? They couldn't clear it up because they were doing bad business. Okay, so Not only them, they, they, wasn't, they was doing bad business from the get-go, and when the person caught on to them doing bad business, he got his money from them, and he left. And he got the contract information to book me the correct way. Okay, who was he? I don't know. You got to ask them what they bring. They bring. I don't. I don't know the two dudes that was there. No names, no nothing. No, I know the name is in my phone. It's been texting me, blowing me up all day. Okay, trying to swindle me. The name who y'all who, who got enough credibility to make the Miami Police Department to put me in custody, have me arrested, and question me. Okay. Oh, what do I look like? I need to take anything from anybody. Come on, bro. It's common sense. It's common sense. It's common sense. You know what I made to even be down here? The promo a promoter booked me at that hotel. I didn't pay to be at the hotel. I was paid for. You'd have let me on my room. You would have saw close to a quarter billion dollars cash legally. A hard earned money. I don't gotta take nothing from nobody, bro. Well, let me ask you this. Do, do, I will go outside here right now and throw ten thousand dollars in the air. Like I do not care about no money. I don't. Bro. Was there an argument? No, it was an argument. I didn't argue with a soul. I didn't argue with a soul. My voice was never was raised. It was never aggressive language for me. None of that. Was there a fight? None of that. No, I ain't seen no fight. <laughs> And nothing's taken. We shouldn't be in no robbery yet, bro. So when y'all get done doing what y'all doing, y'all need to do y'all job. Y'all need to follow y'all process, and y'all need to arrest whoever gave y'all these false allegations, bro. This bullshit. This bullshit, bro. This shit that cost me already fifty thousand dollars. Already, already, bro. Bullshit. This shit is bullshit, bro. It is. This is bullshit. Okay, where were you at? I don't know. Hey, calling my phone. I don't know where I was on Thursday. I'm not keeping track of where I'm at because I'm not out here living the wrong way, bro. Okay. When I encountered you in the hotel, you came back to the uh, the concierge, the counter. Yep. Where were you coming from at that point? Uh, prime seafood. Prime, 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 whatever, whatever the hell. I went to eat. I went to get some food. Where is that? I don't know. Bro. You don't know? No. How'd you get there? In the car. Bro. What kind of car? Was it a car you drove? Somebody else drove? <laughs> a Uber. Bro. A Uber? Yeah. What kind of car was it? A Uber. Small car, SUV, truck, what? I don't know. Let's talk about what matters. Let's talk about what matters. Let's talk about what y'all need to get me about this. What I'm driving in, the car, what I went to go eat, what time I went, that don't got nothing to do with the fact I ain't robbed a damn so. Me, nobody around me, ain't nobody robbing let's, nobody. Let's, let's take the word robbery out of the picture. So while we here, we taking the word out, robbery out of the picture, y'all two, y'all are uh, robbery detectives. This is robbery unit. That's, Some, the, that's the second word he today. said. That's the second word he said when he came in here, robbery. Come on, bro. Okay, listen. He told me, he asked a question to me about a robbery when I walked in my hotel. Uh, robbery? I had every answer to the question you needed right there. Whoa, that ain't it. That's false. Okay. Okay. Throw that out the window. We talking about robbery, bro? It's nothing for me to talk about. I didn't rob. So no do you think that we that we just woke up this morning no. and, and decided to just? I think y'all got a phone call from somebody, from somebody. That, that, that that's already a liar. I know they're a liar. Got a phone call from somebody that's a liar and y'all bought it. Y'all believed it. Y'all got me in here and y'all put me in handcuffs. Brought me outside the hotel in handcuffs. Cameras and shit all on me. Come on, bro. This shit is bad for what I got going on. And I ain't even do shit to that man. They the crooks. They the crooks. They already they already mentioned twenty thousand dollars of somebody else's money. They, they they tried to act like what so, they so you're telling us that that whole incident happened. Well, so so the, the whole point about this, we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about when, when we're talking about janky promoters, bro. Well, okay. That's what okay. we're talking That's about. That's what I'm talking about. Talking so about you're, you're talking about me that whole incident happened. We're talking about criminals. Um, when, when I do business, is legally is legal is legally binded. It's legally binded. Okay. Everything I do, you have to sign a contract. We got to sign a contract. Okay, it's so a contract so you're right me now. That whole incident happened and nothing, nothing went wrong. Nothing, nothing happened. There was no. Not, not to my knowledge. There was no fight. There was no scuffle. There was no. I ain't fight nobody. I ain't fight nobody. Bottom line. Okay. Yes, it be hard.
I ain't gonna fight nobody. I ain't take nothing from nobody. Them the only two questions is that I should even be getting asked from. So why would someone say that you did? You gotta bring him in here, ask him that. Bring him in here, but it don't matter. It, regardless of, of, of what y'all got going on, see, this is why, this is why you you do business the right way, which is not the way they was doing it. So his name's doing? on a contract, bro. So I'm going I'm going to sue him anyway. What was his name? name? Was I'm going to sue him anyways. Whoever y'all talking to, whoever you, you tell me his name. Who did you sign a contract with? Well, I don't sign the contracts. I'm the performer. I don't sign the contracts. So your management team signs the contract. Yes. Who signed? Who in your management team signed a contract with who? They don't no, tell you who we you're don't. We ball. don't sign the contracts. We draw them up. I just told you he signed the contract. So who's he? Y'all let me know, bro. When y'all done with the with the mind game questions, bro? I don't have time for that. There's no mind game questions. Whoever made the report. There's no mind. Whoever made the report. Whoever made the report, bro, y'all don't got to act like y'all know less than what y'all know, whoever made the report. But y'all know it's too much. Uh, y'all know too many lies. You get what I'm saying? That's why y'all got to move backwards like that, bro. Like, you're, saying, oh, you're, saying that you're saying that they're lies, but you don't, you, you don't know what we, what we have or don't have. Okay. That's I know, why we're, we're I know, I know, if y'all, I know if y'all had proof of me robbing somebody, we wouldn't even be talking. Y'all would have cuffed me. I would be charged with it. That's what I know, bro. That's what I know. Look, I ain't no fool. Your side of the story. My side of the story is I ain't, I ain't done that. I don't have a side of the story because I ain't done nothing to nobody. Bro. So that's what I was and, so and before something could be done to me, happened, right? and before something could be done to me, I realized I was dealing with, with uh, uh, bad business. And I Why do you say it was bad business? What? Why do you say it was bad business? I already told y'all that you want to wind this. You know, I did, bro. I already told y'all, bro. Like, my story not gonna come out different no matter how many times I said, bro. It's not, bro. It's right here. So you press stop and rewind and play. I'm going here. Why I said it was bad business, bro. Come on, bro. This nigga blowing my phone up. I say, I'm not. He needed my help for his event. He already was in, in deep water because he's already doing, and I see why he's already doing bad business. You see what I'm saying? He has an event that wasn't gonna go as planned. He needed me to make up for that. He needed me to cover his ass, so he brought in another person, lied to him, swindled him. He thinking he coming to book me for a whole different event, and they tricking him, got him paying me to come do a walk through the night. Come on, bro. You niggas full of shit. Man, no point of me trying to trying to uh, help do pissing on the wild goose hunt to see who that is. And matter of fact, check them cameras. Y'all got crime scene investigation unit out there. Check the cameras. See him meet up with somebody else in the lobby. Ask him, hey, who's that? Ask him. Follow up on what I'm telling y'all. That's what we're trying I to do. I mean, shit, it, it, I mean, shit it, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I would expect people to act on common sense anyway. Bottom line, y'all got plenty of sense. Y'all not stupid. Y'all the police, bro. I'm not. Do I look? Come on, bro. I don't know why I'm still talking, bro. I don't know why I'm still talking. I don't, bro. I don't. So whatever y'all want to do, bro, come on. I, I got to go. Bro. I got a life to live. I got to go. So whatever y'all want to do, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. What do you mean? Let's do whatever y'all want to do. I don't even want to talk about this bullshit. I'm going to get this bullshit. Bro. Okay, so you want to talk about bullshit? For what? For what? We're not getting away, bro. All right. <laughs> Someone that robbed 
someone that was uh, with the victim. Someone what? Someone took an iPhone or something from one of the victims that we have here. Okay. Laura's not you. We do have you on video hitting someone. You know, like the, now, you know, okay, well, let me, let me hear, hear me out. Okay. Now, the room that you were in, we want to make sure none of your shit is taken. None of your shit, we want to make sure your shit is secure. And there's either one of two ways that we can do that. We can photograph everything you have and it's secure here at the police station and no one's going to touch it until you come back and, and, and you show your ID and you take it out. To get the route that you want to take. You should be what? You, you have the last, you say you have the last shit in, in the, uh, yeah, in the hotel, right? Yeah, which is right. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to make sure none of your stuff is taken, yeah. it's touched with, touched, tampered with, or anything like that. That's what I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so as far as I'm with you, I'm trying to help you out. For that, I would need consent from you, a written consent to go into your room, retrieve your things, put them here at the police department. No one's going to touch it. Okay? That's one route. The other route is if you have someone that you want to give permission to someone else that's not the police to give permission to it to go into the Which is your choice. Well, I can't go get my stuff. Because you're going, you're going to jail for that. Okay, I'm going to get out. I'm sorry? And then I'm going to get out. So you don't want us to, uh, to you just want us to lock the doors and leave everything. Like what door? With the hotel. They said the doors were already locked. Okay, so you want us to leave it the way it is, and let, uh, and you, you, you'll get it when you get out. It's going to be in the room when I get out. We haven't, we haven't gone in the room. Because I'm room. saying there's no stuff going to be in the room when I get out. Okay, that's what I'm saying. We, how can I guarantee that? They already guarantee me that when before, this is what I'm saying, brother. That's what, what I'm saying, what I'm telling you is, how can I guarantee that if I'm, I'm not there, they to make sure no one goes, no one else goes. The one that just me. ain't walk back in here with you, he already guaranteed me that. That what? That I can go back in there and get my stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you can do whatever you want once you get out of jail. Uh, but what I'm thinking about is between the time you're in jail and the time you get out, uh, the things that you have there. It's up to you what you want to do. I don't know nobody else going to get my stuff. Okay, so you don't want the police going to get it. Nobody. Okay, you just want your room door locked. <laughs> Another thing, which I forgot, I don't know, you know, what's your policy? You can't guarantee anything. Which, you know, your door's locked already. I can guarantee you we're not gonna go touch your shit. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking ahead for, for on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So just leave the door locked and. I mean, what they gonna do? Push out still? No, yeah, yeah. And then I need somebody to come trust them the same allegations and then put them in handcuffs right there in front of me. I'm taking the jail to spit because I already made it clear. I could have went up there and got my stuff. I could have went up there and got my stuff. From, from who? Uh, what do you mean? I could have walked straight up there and got my stuff. You have a lot of shit or is it, you have a lot of stuff? I got chopping bags. I got, oh yeah, I'm on the road doing the job. I'm here doing the job. I ain't no vacation. Okay. All right. We'll just make sure the door's locked and the way it's up to stuff. I used none of none of us. <laughs> Yeah, they, they finishing up. We're almost done. Come on, brother. Yeah, I like it.
They charge me. Let's go to the jail. Yeah, but they gotta write everything up. The paperwork. Kind of your money in front of you that you had on you, okay? And then we're gonna have you take all your jewelry off too, lay it on the table, and we're gonna take video of that, and then we're gonna turn it on to property. <clears throat> we already had this here. Yeah. No, not yet. Yeah. You got anyone here? Yeah. One, two, three. Out of jail tomorrow, whenever you're gonna get out, 
go to the hotel. I know you have a lot of money there and a lot of jewelry there as, as well. Contact the front desk manager. If you need us to come there, we'll, we'll help you get your stuff back too because we don't want any other incidents. Thank you very much. Okay. It's the hotel? Yeah, I told them I got a quarter million dollars. Is it in the safe? Is it in, is it in the safe? Yes. Okay, then I'm sure they can't get in that then because you only have to put you have the password for that. Nah, no, they got the key. Who does? You don't have the key? Yeah, I the key. Okay, that's well, like I said, they're the ones that are going to be responsible for whatever's in your room. So when you get out, just go to the hotel. Like I said, contact the manager and I'm sure they'll have all your belongings. They're very professional there. I'm sure they'll take care of all your stuff for you. Do me a favor and just get a video of all his jewelry. That's it. There's nothing else, right? Mm -hmm. When you come, when you get out of jail, you can go back to the station and then come to the property and get all your belongings as well, too. Much better when you get jail. Because they're not going to take that and they're not going to take that in. It's too valuable. Here, you got to come over here when you get up. It's not going to be under your name. It's not going to be put together under your name. When you come with your ID, you're good to go. All right. I don't even know why we came in forever. All right. Okay, I got me doing some much. Man, take a picture of it, bro. No, it's all on video. You just try to check a picture. It's all on video. It's on video. There's two body cams here. And here, I'll lay it out. Video. I'll lay it out. Uh, where do I come to this stuff from? Here. I'll probably just in the jail. Come here, you come here, you say we can go down to the property to pick up your belongings. Trying to get out, I ain't got no phone. I'm sure your, your people are going to be ready for you. What you mean? You said, you know, it's not a problem. I'm not trying to make you think what people are looking for you. I'm going to put you in a bed with me, bro. Okay. We're going to take you down to Orange to the Valley to go with me to jail. Fuck, I'm trying to pull the shit. There you go. That's it. There you go. There you Number that you want called uh, because I, I think your phone was already put in his personal property. It may not may not be able to pull it out. Is it like your mom, your dad, or someone you want called? This ain't the eyes supposed to go anyway. I'm supposed to go to jail with my phone, bro. Strange. Did they they didn't put it in? Okay, I'm bring it up. Okay, I'll bring it up to you. Yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. 
the all of it, your phone's gonna go with you. Just the money and jewelry they ain't gonna take. That's that asshole. I'm just wondering what you're gonna be there too. Like I said, they're going for the um the paperwork to get approved. No, no, no. They're going to give you a booking number. Okay. That's the one you need. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to him once I, uh, once I get in. I appreciate it. You want to put it in here with your phone? Um, it's up to you. They ain't gonna give me that to like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they might take that out of your pocket too as well. You get me? So I don't know. I just don't want to get there and they get the acting all funny. I mean, yeah, you can you can hold on to it for now. Yeah, yeah. Let me take these. Okay. Give me a second, man. Right? All right. Okay. 